What is up everybody? My name is Andrew and welcome back to our Space Engineers The Center mini-series. This is episode number seven and we're still in the center of the Earth trying to get out. Um, in this episode, we're gonna get a little bit farther from uh, from the center with our elevator. Uh, last episode, we built this cool platform that looks very weird from this angle, but it looks very cool from this angle once we use our ladder to get on top of it. Um, we built this platform and it has this shaft thing that goes all the way to our mini base about a kilometer above us. So um, that is our starting point for trying to get out of the the uh, center of the earth. Um, so this episode, we're gonna try and build the elevator that's gonna get there. So it's gonna go along this uh, shaft thing all the way up to the top where that base is. And it's gonna, going to allow us to get there really easily without having to uh, walk there, which and when we walk there, we have this little ladder right here that should put us the right way, allowing us to walk all the way there, but it takes a long time. It uses a little bit of jetpack and it's not ideal. So that's why we're gonna build the elevator in this episode. Uh, but one thing I asked you guys um, off, not off camera, last episode, I asked you guys this to put in the comments. Uh, what do you think we should do about trying to get materials here? Because it's really hard to go all the way down and then over to the, the thing to grab materials and then come all the way back up so that we can use them. Um, it'd be very nice to have a material thing here, but we can't build any cargo containers because they require cobalt. Um, so what do we do? Well, one of you guys said that it'd be a really good idea to build a cockpit here. So I think that might be what we're gonna do with the basic cockpit here. Now the cockpit has two connections. It's got one on the bottom and one on the back, um, which are going to help us. Actually, yeah, wait, let, let me see. Is there another cockpit that has maybe two connections as well? Like what about this one, for instance? Um, no, it's the same thing. So it's got a door and a connection. So I don't know if you can grab materials from the door, but I guess we're gonna find out because we're gonna build this guy right here um, and let's is this connected I think this is connected to the base let me just make sure though yeah let me make sure that this is connect I need some steel plates I'll be right back okay I've got a couple steel plates as well as enough materials for one cockpit so let's go ahead and put the uh, one of these blocks right here just to make sure that's connected and then I'm gonna remove this guy because this is where we're gonna put our uh, our cockpit I'm gonna actually remove a little bit of space right here as well just so it has some room uh, and then let's go down one We'll go over one as well. And we're basically just gonna bring this along here with uh, with normal conveyor blocks. I didn't bring any interior plates, whoops, my bad. Okay, I have enough stuff for these things. Let's put our connectors right there. We'll build them up. We should have enough for both of these, but let's see. Yeah, okay, easily. Both connectors, and then we can put our cockpit right on top, right there. Nope, we can't put our cockpit there yet. Probably, maybe we have to have the entire area clear. That actually makes sense. Okay, should not be fully clear, there we go. Uh, yeah, so some blocks in this game have to have a fully clear area, like drills, cockpits, turrets, stuff like that. Um, so it's, it can be a little bit annoying, but you just drill out everything and you're good. All right, here's our cockpit. <laughs> We're building up all the armor, we don't need to. I, I can't imagine anything's gonna attack us down here. But anyway, there's our cockpit. Can we now press K? And no, okay, so we can't use connected inventories on the cockpit. Once we get inside, I bet we can though. So if I went all the way down to here, yeah, okay, we could use stuff in here once we're inside the cockpit. I mean, the cockpit's nice, right? Because we can act, we can now get inside it and refill our pow power while we're here without having to run all the way down. I would like to be able to grab materials though with our build planner because that just makes things so much easier. As it is though, we can grab materials, which is nice. We can just hop in here and go yoink with everything we want. Actually, wait, can we use build planner in here? Withdraw components for build planner. Oh, neat. <laughs> okay, so I guess it's fine, we can do this. If I put all my stuff back in here, and then I grabbed this on Build Planner, so I right click on that, and then hop in here. Could I then go control this? Yeah, okay, that's that's the easy way to do it. And well, some of you guys commented as well that if you hold control, it doesn't actually remove it from your Build Planner. So you can just um, keep grabbing stuff like that, which makes it a lot easier than what I was doing, which was pretty much grabbing uh, 10 of these and going in here and grabbing them all. And it was taking so much time, but now we should have it a lot better. Uh, okay, I think what we're gonna do now is we're gonna work on, well, do we even wanna work on a little bit of this? Maybe we just do the elevator first and then use welders on the elevator to weld up the entire, like the rest of the blocks. That might make it easier. So let's go ahead and put everything back then, if that's gonna be the case. And we'll start on the elevator, cause that's gonna be, um, a fun task. Let's uh, grab a couple steel plates for this. We'll grab a couple interior plates and I think that's all we're gonna need for now and we're gonna start on our elevator. So for our elevator we're just gonna start with a um, I think we're just gonna start with a landing gear. I don't really know exactly how this is gonna work but pretty much all my builds start this way. I have no clue how they're gonna actually work and then they just end up working at some point or not working and that's always fun too but let's let's uh, let's start this way. Okay so the design I have in mind for the elevator is not very crazy. 
it's just kind of like four wheels, one on every side. Um, and I, I think that'll work. I don't really know for sure. And then I'll have two. So I'll have one down here and one up there and it should, uh, it should keep it stabilized. I don't know. There's only one shaft here, so there's no way to kind of keep it from, uh, from twisting around, which I think is fine. It probably won't be a problem, but I don't know. It might be a problem. Who knows? You know what I might do? I might go overboard on the wheels, actually. That might make it a little easier. Um, because if I do only one wheel, it could potentially jump off the track. But if I do two wheels on every side, times two, so four wheels on every side, which would be 16 wheels, um, it might work a little bit better. So let's uh, let's try that. I'm going to remove this for now. Um, we're going to say this is the center-ish. I don't know. Is it really the center? Is that more centery? I don't know, the center is kind of between these two, but we'll just call that one the center. Is this going to work? Find out next time. Um, okay, let's see. So we'll do something like this. Boom. That gives us one wheel. And that wheel... Okay, so we need to go out one more then. Okay, so if you go out one more, then we have wheels like this, which is better, I think. Okay, we've got everything. Let's build this one up. Build this one up. Actually, all I want to do is build this one up, because I need to move it uh, so I can get the wheel in. Okay, so we're going to go in here and... Oh, I can't even move this, can I, until I add a wheel. Okay, you know what I might do? I might actually... Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna remove these, and I'm actually gonna place them upside down. And the reason I'm gonna do that is so that it gives me more room to uh, mess with the suspension. Um, because if I place them right side up, this one can't place. But if I place them upside down... He can place. And that is the reasoning. <laughs> So there we go, that should be roughly centered. I think that'll be fine. And if we do the same thing on every side, it should be uh, it should be good. All right, I kind of like what we have going on here. Uh, we've got two sets of wheels, one set of wheels on this side and one set of wheels on that side. We're gonna have another duplicate of this, like all the way at the top of the elevator. And then the middle of the elevators, we're gonna have the other side wheels, um, which doesn't really make that much sense right now as I say it, but it's gonna make sense when you see it, uh, hopefully. <laughs> so let's get everything welded up and then let's start working on the middle of the elevator. Okay, before the elevator goes anywhere, you know what I want to do is I want to go down here, extend this downward one, I think, on every side. And I'm going to add like a, a, a tire. Because tires can absorb damage really well. So if this falls down, I want the tire to absorb most of the damage. I might add even two. Okay, there we go. We have a pretty good elevator thing now. Uh, elevator base, rather. We need to still work on the upper part of it. Okay, so for the remaining bit of the elevator, I think we're going to give it a couple blocks and then call it the flight, or the, the main deck where you'll kind of stand. So this right here, we'll call this the uh, the main deck. We're flying away. Okay, we're kind of getting there. Um, so yeah, I definitely have this being like the main deck where you would, uh, you would stand while the elevator operates. Uh, and then the only problem is we need to go up there pretty much and build a duplicate of this. And then on the side, we need two more wheels. Uh, kind of holding it here. So I don't know exactly what we want to do with that. Um, do we even need the side wheels? I don't really know. I really should have wheels down there, shouldn't I? All right, I've gone ahead and added the side wheels. Uh, I was only going to add one set of side wheels, but I think that would make it a little bit off balance. So I am going to go for the full 16 wheel design that I was thinking of at the start. Uh, and we'll see how that turns out. It's going to cost a lot of materials, but we have the, uh, the iron. So I think we're going to be fine. It just... It's just going to be more work, and eventually we're going to go down a tick of jetpack, because I keep having to use it um, every time I launch on one of these things and fly myself over the edge. So uh, we're a little bit off kilter, you can very easily tell at this point, but um, once we get this thing uh, lined up, it should be a lot better. In fact, we might go ahead and disconnect it soon. Um, now, as for power for this thing, I don't really know what we're going to do quite yet. Uh, I know we're going to have to use battery power, because that's the only power we really have uh, at our disposal in this series. Because uh, I can't, I don't think we can build a hydrogen engine. Even if we could, we don't have ice, but um, and we don't have uranium for that thing, and we don't have wind. Well, no, we do have wind, but we can't build a wind thing on a small grid, and we can't build solar. So yeah, it's gonna be battery power, which is fine. We can build batteries. Um, what I haven't decided on is if I want to recharge this thing, um, or if I want to just replace the battery every time it runs out. But uh, let's go ahead and dis, or yeah, let's go ahead and disconnect this. I think. Let's go ahead and place a battery, then disconnect this. For now, I'm just going to put a battery right there. Just for now. It's not going to be there forever. Just for now. Let's go ahead and uh, right click that. We're going to use Build Planner here because I forgot how to play Space Engineers without Build Planner. But I'm fine with it because Build Planner is here for me. Oh, 23. No, we're, we're, we're going down in hydrogen every once in a while. Okay, let's grab all the stuff. Put this stuff in there. Grab more stuff. 
probably can't grab it all, but maybe I can. Okay, it's gonna start building some stuff for us. Where are my power cells? Has the time come? Are we finally out of stuff? No. I have power cells. So where are they? Oh, it's only withdrawing from one at a time, isn't it? <laughs> okay. All right, there we go. The battery is up, which means this thing is now powered and I can remove all these blocks down here. So let's go down here and remove them. It's gonna allow this thing to fall, which should put it more into place. I don't know though. We'll see. Uh, let's go ahead and remove that. Um, okay. Oh, right, we have like no gravity. <laughs> Forgot. Uh, it's fine. All right, let's go ahead and remove this then. And I should be able to place another block right here. I'm gonna, this entire thing is gonna be blocked. Oh, oh. oh gosh, what have I done to it? Let me out before it flips over and stuff. Okay, so um, basically we're gonna need to uh, adjust all the, oh gosh, it's gonna be really hard to build like this, isn't it? I do love my buggy cockpit. This is just temporary. We'll throw it right there. Right click on that. We'll go uh, in here and see if we can grab all the stuff for it. Anyways, here we go. Now we have a seat on this thing. We can move all of our wheels. Okay, I'm making the ceiling now. We want it to be about five blocks up. We have to do some mining here because we are out of space. But five blocks is about the small grid height that you need to be to be able to like stand and stuff. Oh, we need steel plates, whoops. Okay, let's see if I can get this one little block. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll let me. Nope, it won't. <laughs> okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna build up a drill right here. It should let us destroy this thing. So we just hop in here, right click mine. Oops, we have to bring that down actually. Block tools. I hope it doesn't destroy our ship. Uh, it may have gotten the stuff around us as well, which would be nice. But let's go ahead and remove this. And yes, it did get that one block. Awesome. And I think it got a couple more blocks around us as well, so that's good. Good news. Okay, we're definitely getting there. We have pretty much one side done. We have the bottom done. We have the... Uh, then the top for one of the sides, and then we need the top for the other side, and it'll be all done. We're almost there. It's it's pretty big, isn't it, this this uh, elevator? It's a large one. Um, once we're done with this, we're going to add some drills to the top, and then we're going to get all the wheels uh, hooked up properly, and we should be able to go. Uh, assuming the wheels all turn the right way, which I think they should, because we've been minding the way we put our wheels on with the yellow toward this so that the wheels spawn farther and we can bring them in. So they should all be facing the same way. Um, but I think, uh, yeah, okay, let's keep let's keep working on this. Uh, we need to get those built up and then we need to bring this all the way back around. And then we need to remove all these blocks, which I had here for a long time. They've been really helpful, but they've served their purpose. Let's go ahead and maybe mine out a little bit of this as well while we're here. And then let's continue. All right, we're almost there. We've just got these last few wheels to weld up and uh, we'll have all the wheels done. And um, that's a good first step, I think. Or a good, well, not first step. That's a good step. <laughs> We've been working on this for a little while. Uh, although I'm sure in the video it's cut a little bit shorter because a lot of it is uh, trying to figure out how to get around using scaffolding and um, building up blocks and mining. <laughs> Of course, you can't forget the mining. Uh, but yeah, there we go. That's all of the wheels done. Uh, we have a total of 16 wheels. We've got four on each side. That should keep us roughly stable. I don't. It might turn around a little bit, so it might not uh, stay perfectly in line with this, but I think this will keep us mostly stable. So the next piece of the puzzle is going to be to uh, add some uh, drills here for now. Okay, we've got enough room for one drill so far. Let's go ahead and build that guy up. Go in here, press I, grab all the materials. You guys know how it is. We need one plate and 16 construction plants. We might have that stuff in our inventory. Yep, we do. Awesome, so we have one drill. That's good. Uh, I'd like to get one on each side. I think that should do it. Since we're right-click mining, that should cover most of our bases. I can go ahead and right-click mine here, though. Uh, just to clear out a little bit of the, the space. Sweet, okay, we can right-click mine with that, and that should get rid of all that little bit right there. So let's go ahead and do that. Right click mine, give it a few seconds, I can see the block deforming all the way on the left over there. And uh, go back up to see what it's done. Yeah, okay, that's doing pretty well. Uh, let's get it on those two sides over there as well. You think we can make it to that ladder over there? Oh, oh yeah, that was actually a really good jump. Awesome. Okay, uh, we've got all of our things up, let's give them one quick spin. And we should be good to drive. 
Okay, that's pretty well. We just need to connect it or like get get the wheels actually touching the thing But then it goes pretty well. So let's go ahead and go into our wheels and get the side ones clamped a little bit more uh, So let's get them a high offset of something like that. There we go uh, Let's get the front ones a little bit more as well high offset of something like this, okay? And now we can't go. I'll tell you what there's definitely a sweet spot somewhere Okay, I think we've got the elevator mostly working now uh, we've got all the wheels going in the same direction, which they weren't before. Uh, now we can make it go up and uh, and drill pretty much. All I needed to do was get these side wheels right here to uh, to clamp a little bit closer to the uh, the thing. In fact, I may even give them a little more strength. Oh gosh, yeah, that works pretty well. So it's mostly the side wheels that are driving us. I thought it would be the forward and backward wheels, but the side wheels are doing the most work, I think. Which is uh, good. Good job, side wheels. Props to you. All right, so now we're pretty much just going up this thing with the uh, with the elevator, and uh, we're about to actually reach the section that's not built yet. So maybe I'll go down and get a, uh, a welder on this thing, and then put all the blocks in here. Yeah, let's go. Let's go down and see how well it works there. Uh, so when we're going down, it's pretty much manual stops. So we have to keep an eye on our speed, and then once we get to around, I don't know how far our base is from that. Maybe like 50 meters or so. We need to start worrying. Oh no, we just hit something. Are we in the area? Oh yeah, okay. Well, let's use our jetpack to go down. And we hit this, okay, cool. Okay, so that was the major problem with this thing, is how do you get it to make itself aimed the right way so that you can enter here? And I don't really know what the solution is, but we have these things on here, so if it does hit something, it'll just hit the outside here, which won't be that bad. There might be a way to, uh, I don't know how to do this. You guys might know how to do this better, but um, there might be a way to sort of force it into the correct... Like, if I do something like this, if I use this to try and force it into the correct area, would that work? Maybe that would. Maybe that's enough. There it is! Okay, we finally got it to uh, connect. Alright, it was a bit of a task, but we got it in there. Um, maybe we need to figure out a better way to make this landing platform uh, guide it into the landing, so... Okay, let's try and get the welders attached to the uh, the elevator. Um, I think we're gonna go with two welders so that it welds things kind of pretty quickly as we go. I think that's the best way to do things. Uh, we're gonna go up just a little bit. We can't go up that far, but yeah, let's go up above the, the wheels at least. And then maybe we'll go back one like that. And then we'll see if we can put the welders on. So let's get a welder here, face it that way, and get a welder here and face it this way, if that's gonna let us do that. Yep, it's fine. Okay, and since it doesn't have any small conveyors, I'm, I'm not going to do anything crazy. I was going to, like, connect this to a, uh, a medium cargo container and then put all the materials inside the cargo container, but instead I think I'm just going to load the materials up manually into these two. So let's uh, get these build planted up and uh, and get them built. And then we'll grab all the materials we need. I'll, I'll try and calculate how many we need beforehand. Can I get one of these done? Can I get two of these done? No, okay, just one of them so far. Okay, there we go. We have those now uh, installed in the correct position. Okay, so we have about one-tenth done, so we have maybe 40 of these installed. I don't remember exactly how many we did, but we have maybe 40 of them installed. We needed 400. That was one mistake I made last episode, by the way. I should <laughs> I should address that. Um, for a little while, I thought we needed 250, because I was like, okay, 1,000 uh, 1, meters, and we, need, uh, we have 2.5 per, so that's definitely 250, right? But no, it's actually 400. My math failed me. Um, thank you, everybody, for pointing that out in the comments, but that means we we have about 400, you know, give or take, um, probably closer to like 380 of these things right here. We've done about 40 of them, so we need about 360 of them. So we can do a little bit of math here uh, with our conveyor tubes. Okay, so in order to make all the ones up there, we're going to need roughly 2,280 motors, uh, 4,560 small steel tubes, 7,600 construction components, and 5,320 interior plates. Can we make all those? I don't know, but that's pretty much what we're going to need for uh, for building up there. Okay, I'm gonna start simple. I'm gonna start by making one fourth of everything that's required. So this should make us one fourth of what's required for us to get there, which uh, I'm fine starting with for now, because that should be enough for these to carry. Um, I'm just guessing. So we're gonna let that make. Oh, actually, I have a really good idea. Yeah, this is actually gonna work pretty well. Okay, let's hop in this and let's uh, go up a little bit. What I wanna do is I wanna pos uh, put something here. So I wanna put a connector right here. We can't do it now, but we need a steel plate. Yes, we can. Okay, so we're gonna put a connector there. I'll right click, grab all the materials. We'll go into here, 
pull them all. We should be able to pull them all. They're just in different uh, containers, which makes us have to pull them multiple times. But uh, let's build this guy up. And then we're going to put a connector on the uh, elevator as well. We're going to put one right here so that it can connect with the uh, the ship. And if we want to route some things, we could always route these to a container. For now, I'm just going to allow it to connect because um, that's basically going to give us power. So it's going to be good. Um, okay, let's remove this. Yep. Okay, we have connections elsewhere. And let's get the connector built in, if it lets us. It, yeah, we might have to go up a little bit further. And let's put this right here. We'll right click again, hop in here, grab everything we can, and hop out and get this. Okay, there we go. So this is actually doing two things, because now we can actually use this to grab materials, I think, uh, which is going to be faster than going into our cockpit there. Um, but also we can connect this so that it can charge. Go down. It's ready, awesome, and let's set this to recharge, and we are good. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll land here. Okay, so we're good, now the battery's charging, because I was a little afraid it was a little low um, on power, but now everything is awesome. Okay, here we go, so we, have, we now have that set up so we don't have to remove it ever in the future again. Uh, we now have most of the stuff that we want. So I'm not gonna put anything on top of this, because I obviously can't put a medium cargo container up there. It wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't fit behind the wheels, but I can put these right here. There we go. Okay, so I'm thinking we add three medium cargo containers on the back right here, because we have our battery on the front right there, so if we even out the uh, the weight, cargo containers on the back will be good. Um, let's see if we can grab all those materials and, uh, and build them up. Medium cargo containers. This is going to be nice. So, um, yeah, at the, start of the, uh, at the start of the series, we realized we can't build normal cargo containers because they require um, uh, metal grids, which require cobalt, and we don't have any cobalt here. Uh, however, we can build the small grid medium cargo containers because they don't require any metal grids so that was a good realization um, that's going to help us out a lot and uh, let's try it. okay so that works the silicon works which is good because silicon can go through a bunch of small stuff what doesn't work though is the interior plates the construction components work those work and those don't work so the small steel tubes and the interior plates require large connections which means we can't really um, load them up into here and then have them be used in there, unfortunately. Okay, I'm just going through and loading these up. I'm manually loading the interior plates uh, because they can't come through any of the connections, so it's just a couple of trips to bring those and the small steel tubes. Um, but we're loading up one-fourth of what we need for the whole trip inside each of these, so we should have, when we're done with this, one half of the entire thing loaded up into these, so it's a pretty good trip, I think. All right, we've got pretty much everything loaded up there. I'm gonna grab a couple steel plates before I go, just in case we need them on the journey. Uh, always like to have a couple extra. So steel plates, steel plates, thank you very much. And, uh, and I think we're good to go. All right, let's hop on this thing. We don't need this one. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's wait for ourselves to fall back. We're actually gonna stand on the ship itself so that when we disembark, it should put us on the ship. Let's see. So we're standing here, we go in here. When we disembark, we should, yeah, we should be standing on the ship, awesome. Okay, so that thing is loaded up with about a fourth of what we need to go all the way in each of these, so we should have about half of the way. All right, toggle on off. We now have our welders turned on, supposedly. I can't see them if they're on. Actually, I can hop out here and maybe get a better look. Yep, I can see the red right there. Awesome, okay. Everything is on. Let's uh, start going. We're gonna disconnect here, turn our battery on, and we should be good to, uh, to start. So we're gonna start going up, and uh, we'll let our drills do their work as we go with our welders turned on. This actually looks really cool. Just just going like this. And uh, we're now about a tenth of the way there, so our welders should start having work to do. Yep, we're actually getting to where they would need to weld. Let's see. Yep, they are welding as well. Awesome, you love to see it. Okay, let's keep going. This should go a lot faster than it was before. And uh, when we're at about 500 meters, we'll probably have to turn around to go back home. But that's in quite a bit. Let's even turn the, uh, the HUD off so you can see the full view of what we see when we're standing on this thing. This is really cool. Uh, yeah, this is pretty awesome. The elevator works really well as well. I'm not having to struggle really. It's going very fast. Um, I think it's going to be really cool once we have this thing fully operational. How are we looking distance-wise? We're at about 220, so we're at about one-fourth of the way there, almost. And the uh, the welder's still going strong. 
All right, right about 420. Um, now, I know we don't have enough construction components in those things, so we should start to see uh, a shortage. But I don't know if that's going to come now or in 100 meters. It's going to be somewhere. We have the construction components on hand. They're just in another cargo container not connected to those things, so we'd have to go and resupply them a little bit. Oh, there it is. We ran out of the construction components, so what we can do is we can pause this here. And by pause, I mean parking brake. Uh, we can hop out here, and we can see if we can get up there. Because if we can manage to make a way up there, uh, we can go and resupply those. I don't want to use any jetpack, though. That's the, that's the thing. Let's see. Can I make a little path? If I can access... Oh, yes, I can access this. Okay, so all we need to do is add some construction components there. Because if we look... Uh, well, actually, these are completely out. Hang on. Um, let me look at our welder. Oh, so this still has a bunch of stuff. The other one is the one that's completely out. You know what we should have done is we should have loaded this stuff into the medium cargo container so I could do all the swaps here. I didn't think of that, though. Um, but we do have... Oh! Uh, well, that's a problem. Okay, we have to use our jetpack, otherwise we're going all the way down. And we don't want to. It's a little, little far for us. Okay, let's hop in here. We'll grab some construction components and resupply this. Load in the construction components. Okay, turn our parking brake off, and let's uh, let's continue. Almost 600 meters. We're getting there. Uh, we're still going to have to go back. I, I don't know how we're getting this far. I guess we already had... Oh, okay, there we go. I was wondering. Um, but yeah, 600 meters is pretty good. Uh, we just have to get another 400 meters, and uh, yeah, should be should be good. I really should have set some more stuff to production, shouldn't I, while I was uh, going to be gone. But anyway, uh, next stop is back at base. So we go all the way down, and I guess we can actually go pretty quickly, as long as we mind our speed. Or as long as we mind our distance, because it should be all mined out. Look how fast. No. Yeah, this thing can go real quick if we wanted to. I'm, I'm being a little, uh, a little cautious here. But it can go way faster. All right, we should be back there any second, so let's start slowing down and coming in real nice and slow here. Because uh, what we really should do is we should install lights on the side here so we know when we're getting close. That'd be a good idea. But anyway... Or maybe we should change the color of that. Make some markers or something. Okay, we're, we're touching something, so I'm guessing we are pretty much there. Yeah, we're probably rub rubbing up against that. Um, that right there is supposed to guide us in. I don't think it's going to do its job properly, though. Okay, I'm, I'm doing a lot of replacing and uh, welding of blocks, but uh, we're kind of getting there. I'm just completely redesigning this entire thing from the ground up. Let's see. Uh, I'll show you guys real quick what it looks like. Okay, so pretty much the bottom floor looks like this. It's the same thing as it was before, um, except we don't have a stairs going up right here anymore. We just have normal blocks. And so all around, it's going to look like that. Um, it's going to have this kind of curve thing, which is going to hopefully guide this into where it's going to where it's supposed to be. We're going to have our stairs around the back right here. So we'll have this like that. And then our stairs are going to come up right there. So like this. Okay. And the stairs are going to go up two, I think. Uh, I'll remove this guy and instead replace it with that. I'm removing all these curved blocks because it doesn't really matter. Uh, I had a good idea, I think, with the curved blocks uh, around the side because I think it would look better from the bottom, but I don't really care what it looks like from the bottom. I just want to get this up and running. Uh, so let's keep going with this. It should look better by the time it's done. All right, I've gone ahead and revamped the entire uh, station here. Um, it now looks a little bit more normal, I guess. Uh, so we have the downstairs, which we had before. Uh, this is the area where you can go kind of under it and you can do some repairs if you want to. It'll dock here, so it should be low enough that you can kind of crouch around here if you want to. Uh, maybe I'll remove some of these blocks and let you uh, run around on the inside like this over here. Uh, actually, let me re refill our power and I'll continue. <laughs> Okay, power refilled. Let's go to the second story, which uh, you already saw because I started here. But basically, it's this it's just like the loading dock area where it should connect directly to that front right there. So um, once this is connected, it should be all good. Now, um, I want to add maybe like a second story that would allow uh, anyone to get up there and work on the, uh, the top of the elevator. Um, but I haven't done that yet. So for now, it's fine. There's got to be a better way to do this, right? I mean, this kind of works if I just hit it over and over like this. It'll eventually uh, put itself the right way. And there it is. Okay, number eight, lock, recharge, and we're good. Okay. Yeah, so it kind of works. 
Can we actually move around here? Yeah, oh, this is perfect. Wow, we can actually move around here and, and check on stuff. Dang, this worked out way better than I thought it would. We have plenty of room down here. Okay, you know what? We do have to actually get up there to uh, add stuff to there. So let's make a second story. Okay, I've got to kind of start to the second story done. I haven't done the full thing. Oh, we bumped our head on that. But uh, it's kind of getting there, and that should make it so I don't have to keep building up a bunch of blocks. Okay, this is pretty good. I can actually access these up here if I want to really easily, so that's very nice. I don't have to go and, uh, and do anything crazy. Okay, battery is looking good. It's fully charged. Let's go ahead and start bringing materials up. I need to get as many interior plates as I can and put them up here. It's going to take a couple, a couple of trips. You know what? I have a better idea. This goes down under there. Let me let me over-engineer another solution real quick. All right, solution successfully over-engineered. We can now access materials all the way up here, all the way down there, and all the way down there even further. We've made a pipe that went all the way up here, pretty much, and uh, and now it's going to let us do stuff. So cool. Um, it probably would have been or taken just about the same amount of time had I just uh, grabbed all the materials and brought them up here, but. Now we have a better solution, so let's keep getting interior plates and loading them onto our ship. All right, we've got everything mostly uh, uh, done. We've got all the materials we need for the rest of the journey. Uh, we're a little light on the uh, construction components again, but I've got some in my inventory and I've got some in there, so it should work itself out. All right, let's head over here and let's uh, go on our journey. We're gonna go all the way over here and I wonder if we can get on that or if we need, let's just, let's just put up the thing. I wish we could find a way to get this to work permanently, but for now, it, it's fine. We'll just we'll just uh, change it out whenever we, we uh, need to swap it. So let's put this back. There we go. And uh, I guess we're ready for our journey. So let's get going. Parking brake for the least. Oh, wait, we need to turn on our uh, recharge mode. Awesome. And we should be ready to go. Okay, uh, so we should be able to go really fast if we want to. Let's get, let's get some speed up. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's a little sketchy. I'm not, I'm not gonna go that fast. I think this is a nice speed. Um, we have plenty of clearance on the sides because the drills have done their job. So we're just gonna give it this speed. Ooh, I don't like when it starts bouncing around. Makes me a little bit worried. But we should be able to go up to about 580 if I remember correctly. Uh, before we need to start drilling and welding again. Ooh, here it is. Nope, never mind. That's just a different color. Uh, yeah, I took a I took a thumbnail screenshot right there, so I changed the color of those just for the screenshot. But anyway, let's start drilling. Yep, 590, and hopefully we can make it all the way with this stuff. It'll be nice when we finally get there. Although I don't know if this thing will dock properly to that uh, that thing. So interesting thing, if you've been watching the channel for a long time, I think this might actually be the first wheeled elevator we've made in survival. I'm trying to think back if we've made any other ones like this. I guess we kind of did in the uh, Pertam series with uh, with the launch system, but uh, it wasn't a long one like this. It was just kind of a mini one. Um, so yeah, we've definitely done this in creative a couple times, but as far as survival goes, this might be a first. So it's kind of cool to see something like this in uh, in survival, in my opinion. Kind of cool that we were able to do it without a problem. We have made a monorail before, which is, I guess, kind of similar, just horizontal. That was in the um, uh, season three of the original series. But uh, let's turn on tab, see how far we are. Oops, I tabbed out. Did not want to do that. Okay, 800. Uh, yeah, we're getting there. Now, even if this thing has trouble docking up there, it's done one thing that's extremely important for us. It's allowed us to connect the bottom base all the way to the top base so we can drag materials from one to the other, which is huge. That's a huge uh, change. Did we run out of power? Wait, no, there's no way. Hang on, battery? Uh, oh, the battery broke. Oh shoot, that's not good. Okay, what broke on our battery? Oh shoot, we need power cells. Um, okay, well, in that case. We are now back in business. Uh, we should be good for the rest uh, but I have a little bit of power cells in case we need them, so let's uh, start going. We just need to check it every once in a while and repair it if needed. All right, we should be getting really close to the base now. We're at 900 meters. Uh, I'm looking for the... Oh, no, we're actually right up against the base. Hang on. Yeah, okay, let's pause here. Parking brake engaged, and let's have a peek. Let's see what we see. Oh, why is there a block there? 
<laughs> I don't know. Let's let's get on this thing and walk up there. What are you doing? I guess I set this up at one point. Um, right. Okay. Oh, yeah. So that's what we set up originally. That's when we were going to mine the entire way down, which was going to be a bad idea. The way we did it, I think, is the best way to do it. But let's go ahead and get ourselves up here. We're going to have to um, jetpack ourselves a little bit. And then let's uh, work on this. So since we don't really know the orientation we're going to have when we come in here, I'm going to expand this a little bit. So uh, let's bring this back. Let's bring this out one on every side. So this will be out here going this way. And we'll remove these. We're running out of steel plates, but it's fine. We can just move these steel plates we have here into the new positions. I really wish I had more steel plates on me. I should have brought more. Um, it's fine. I, actually, I have some up here I can get. Okay, so this right here is the top that leads all the way down the shaft. You can see the elevator right there. I don't think it's high enough, so I'm going to move it up just a little bit. All right, let's continue. Just up a little bit. We'll have to go a little slowly now because we don't want to destroy everything. Okay, I'll turn off the drills and we're pretty much good. All right, let's hop down and uh, get to one of these. We can jump up here, so we can actually get from the elevator all the way over here, which is nice. Okay, and then uh, we should be able just to sprint to this. No! All right, let's go a little further. Let this thing drill itself and uh, just go a tiny bit further. Awesome. And there we go. I think we're pretty much at our max. Peter Park. We should have plenty of room over here. Yeah, we do. Awesome. And uh, there we go. Our elevator is all the way up. We now have the connection. This goes all the way up. That's connected, which means now we can do stuff on this base right here. Um, and it'll connect. You see that it's now green as well. This will connect all the way down to the bottom base and grab all of its stuff. So that's very nice. Um, what are we going to do with it? That's a good question. What do I have in my inventory? I've got a couple steel plates, no interior plates. So let's grab the elevator and move it down just a little bit. I'm going to use a little bit of jetpack up here as well. We're using very minuscule amount of jetpack, so it's fine the amount that we're using. Uh, let's hop in here, grab a couple of interior plates so we can use them, and let's start uh, working on what is up here. Um, we're not going to go very much further in this episode because we're just about to end it, um, but I want to see what we can do here. Uh, I want to I want to make sure the connection works basically, and then we can um, celebrate. Okay, for now I'm just going to build up one of these because this is going to let us. We don't have the computers for it or anything. We have everything but the computers. Let me go down, because we might be able to get the computers from our little flight seat. Um, because once we build that, we'll be able to basically get the computers from anything else. Like from the main base. Yeah, we can get them from our flight seat. So let's go ahead and yoink those computers. Thank you very much. And then we can build this up, and we are good. Okay, so now, if I go in here, I should be able to go all the way down to our base stuff and drag stuff into my inventory. Yes! Okay, we're now fully connected. That is awesome. That means we can do pretty much whatever we want. Uh, anything we want to build over here, which is probably going to be, like, if I want to build... Uh, do I have steel plates on me? I don't think I have steel plates on me. Let me grab some steel plates real quick. Because now we can pretty much grab infinite from the base. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, see? Boom. Bunch of steel plates. Uh, let me get one of these things, because I want to use the... I think that's the right one. We're going to aim them down like that, and we're going to bring them over like this. So we're basically going to bring it all the way over where our uh, where our seat is, and then we're going to bring it down so we can access stuff from the main base. All right, we're pretty much there. We have this brought all the way along the top and to the side down here, and now we're just going to put one of these right there. All right, there we go. We now have that connected right there. So anything we want to do from here, we can do. So if I wanted to, uh, let me let me put one of these here. This is temporary. I'm not going to keep this here forever. But uh, actually, we'll just remove the one upstairs and put the one downstairs because the one upstairs was temporary. Right here. Okay. Next thing we need to do is build up this real quick before we run out of uh, power. It's just going to require 20 computers. Let's go ahead and grab some of those and rebuild this, and we can now <laughs> refill our power so we don't die here. But yeah, we now have everything connected. We can access the base from here. This is temporary. We'll we'll make a better connection later. Um, and yeah, so I think next episode what we might do is we might just not go down to the bottom base at all. We might just hang out at this top base and uh, try and get this thing set up. 
Um, but that has been this episode here. We did uh, quite a bit in this episode, I would say. We got this entire thing welded up. We got this elevator built, and uh, I think it worked out really well. Let me know what you guys think, though, um, and what you want to see in the future episodes. If you like this one, please hit the like button. Put your comments and your suggestions down below in the comments section, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Space Engineers The Center.